Hey, Steve, his former students calling that connection more of a fascination. They even pointed us to Polito's professional website, which highlights his deep interest in Las Vegas. Now, when it comes to that faculty at ECU, who authorities say were on Polito's list, investigators say they are all safe tonight. If somebody's capable of that today, they were certainly capable of that 10 years ago when I was taking that course. Paul Whittington reflecting on his time at ECU. His former intro to operations management professor, Dr. Anthony Polito, was identified as a suspect in the deadly shooting at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Four professors were shot, three didn't make it. Where I work, somebody told me that it was an ECU professor and I connected the dots immediately in my head. It was like, oh, it had to be Tony Polito. Not because I ever thought that he was capable of that, but ECU professor, I knew how much he was connected to Las Vegas. Paul says Polito spent most of the semester discussing Las Vegas. It was 100% just basically nothing but conversation about Las Vegas, going to Las Vegas, uh, all the hotels that he stayed at, the restaurants that he that he frequented. ECU confirmed Polito worked at the university from 2001 and resigned January 2017 as a tenured associate professor. The suspect had a list of people he was seeking on a university campus, as well as faculty from the Eastern Carolina University. We have contacted almost everyone on those lists to make sure that they are all right. Authorities also shared that right before Polito made his way to UNLV's campus, he stopped by the post office and mailed 22 letters to university personnel across the country, including faculty at ECU. The first letter that we opened had a unknown white powder substance in it. Meanwhile, former students are putting things in perspective. It's, it's scary to think about that today in the aftermath of, of the tragedy in Las Vegas. Tonight, investigators are warning faculty at universities across the country to be on the lookout for one of those letters without a return address. If you receive one, they're asking you contact your local police. In Raleigh tonight, I'm Jamise Price, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.